Let's begin with today's IEP goals. Goal number one, English, language arts, and reading. By the end of 36 instructional weeks, given visual, verbal, and model prompts, Matthew will read, listen to a sentence describing an action verb. Example, today she is clapping in her hands and change the sentence verbally with written form to state the verb's past tense at a rate of 70% accuracy. Let's move on. IEP goal one, past tense verbs. Number one, today I will clean my room. Yesterday I, complete the sentence. Number two, today I will paint. Yesterday I, number three, today I will skate in the park. Yesterday I, number four, today I will read a book. Yesterday I, Number five, today I will mow the grass. Yesterday I, let's move on to goal number two, English language arts and reading. By the end of 36 instructional weeks, given ver visual, verbal, and model prompts, Matthew will increase his ability to make inferences and draw conclusions based on implied information from text from current level at a rate of 70% accuracy. Let's begin. Inference in literature, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Below are two passages from L. Frank Baum's classic story, the wonderful wizard of Oz. The first passage is about Thor Dorothy's home in Kansas. The second refers to the road outside Emerald City in Oz. Read both passages and answer the questions. Let's begin with passage A. When Dorothy stood in the doorway and looked around, she could see nothing but the great prairie on every side. Not a tree nor a house broke the broad sweep of flat country that reached to the edge of the sky in all directions. The sun had baked the plowed land into a gray mass, with little cracks running through it. Even the grass was not green. For the sun had burned the tops of the long blades until they were the same gray color to be seen everywhere. Once the house had been painted, but the sun blistered the paint and the rain washed it away. Now the house has, was, a dull, was as dull as, and gray as everything else. Number one, what is the most common color of the area around Dorothy's home? Write your answer below. Number two, does this sound like a pleasant place? Let's move over to passage B. The road was smooth and well paved now, and the country was about as beautiful was beautiful, so that the travelers rejoiced in leaving the forest far behind, and with it the many dangers they had met in its gloomy shades. Once more, they could see fences built beside the road, but these were painted green. And when they came to a small house in which a farmer evidently lived, that was also painted green. They passed by several of these houses during the afternoon, and sometimes people came to the doors and looked at them as if they would like to ask questions. But no one came near them, nor spoke to them because of the great lion of which they were very much afraid. The people were all dressed in clothing of a lovely emerald green color and wore peaked hats like those of the munchkins. 
Number three, what is the most common color of these of the surroundings in this passage? Number four, does this sound like a pleasant place? Number five, what do you think the author is trying to say about the differences in these two places? Now, you will send me pictures of your completed work and I will upload them to your team file. Thank you.